Hey guys, welcome to Gen Via Beauty. I just wanted to talk to you guys about curling hair. Um, some quick, easy tips, um, how I do it. I get a lot of clients asking me how I do my hair. Super easy. I actually, fun fact, hate doing my own hair, so I've made it as easy as possible for myself and thought I would share how I do that. So please keep watching and I hope you guys are having a great day and I'll see you soon. Okay, so let's dive in. First thing you're gonna need is a curling iron. Shout out to Paige, my favorite thing a client ever said to me was, um, yeah, I don't know how to curl my hair, I'm so bad at it. And I was like, oh, what, what curling iron do you use? And, and she was like, oh, I don't own a curling iron. Step number one, people, curling iron. One and a quarter inch for my hair. My hair's pretty long. I should just get it cut, but it is on the longer side. But truly, whatever length your hair is, go accordingly. A one inch is kind of a universal barrel size that I would recommend. And they also have the ones that don't have the clamp, and I know those are very popular right now. But I find if you're learning and you're constantly burning yourself or you're just not coordinated quite yet, this is about easier, in my opinion. But teach your own. So a couple things you're going to want is a clip. Any clip, I mean one of these will work. Any clip. Um, I'm going to be using a butterfly clip today, but truly any clip. A hair tie, a scrunchie, whatever. So let's get into this. So I've been newly wearing my hair down the middle, so I'm going to just use that as my starting point. We're going to draw a line down the middle of your head. And split your hair in two and if you part your hair on the side that's fine just it can be just down the middle so I'll just kind of twist this side over get it kind of out of my way and then take your brush kind of brush through and I'm gonna kind of be handling this one side for right now so then you're gonna come back in here and you're gonna section and I know this looks like a pretty big section because it is. I don't have time to be farting around with my hair all day long. <laughs> so if you want a more detailed curl, take less smaller sections, but when I do my hair, I kind of go for it. So we're gonna take our curling iron. You wanna pop that clamp down carefully. Don't do what I just, just did. Be careful with it. So. I like to come through the center of the hair and kind of flip it and get this top section first. This is gonna need more heat because it's a little less pliable, I guess would be the right word. I don't really know the right word, but it's a it takes more heat up through here. It's heavier on the hair. Your ends are gonna curl faster. They're more porous. So you're just not gonna need as much heat. You also, another trick is to have the clamp facing towards the mirror. My mom taught me that and I will never forget it. This was way before I was a hairstylist, but I have taken it with me forever. So as you can start to see, I'm starting to kind of, kind of tweet, not tweet it. I'm starting to kind of clamp it and kind of open up the barrel. What that's doing is that's feeding through the hair through the barrel. And when I get to my ends, they'll just kind of pop out, right? Easy. So what I'll do is, I know people like to clip it up and do all that crazy stuff and you have a thousand clips in your hair while you're drinking your morning tea. Well, I don't have time for that. So I just stick it, I balance it on my shoulder, which, pro tip, balance it on your shoulder. <laughs> Save time on clips. So then same thing, I'm just gonna pie down my hair. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect. And if you want to, you can clip this guy up out of your way. And then you're gonna come through to your next piece, give it a brush. And I forgot to mention, I did put a little bit of product in my hair beforehand. Um, I used the Wizard and a Heat Protectant, it's from Amika. Great stuff, but truly, I'm gonna be honest, anything, anything generally speaking, 
that is a heat protectant on your hair, which can be an oil, can be, gosh, kind of anything that you're putting on your hair first is better than nothing because that's what the heat's gonna burn off instead of burning your hair. That's really what you want. And especially before when you're getting ready for work, you know, you sometimes you just sometimes you just don't have time for that. You just gotta go for it. But again, we're only on curl number three, and I'm already almost done with this side. So don't be afraid to take big sections. I know it's like, oh, take the barrel size. Depending on your hair texture, you can usually get away with doing more. So then come through again, clamp towards the mirror. You're gonna come around and I'm gonna get up through that routage area first. Oh my gosh, so recently I've been on, <laughs> so I've been on a Bumble and Hinge lately and I am single and my gosh, online dating, any boys out there listening, you can't just say, hey, what's up? Like, hey, what's up? What does that even mean? Hey, what's up? Well, hi, I don't know you. The sky. <laughs> so stupid. Oh my gosh. I had one guy recently, I asked him what he did for a living and he told me, but literally just what he does. He's like, I do tile. He said he owns a tile showroom. Not another question, no follow-up, just a tile showroom. I was like, you're not gonna ask me what I do? Like, where's this conversation gonna go? Yeah, it was, it's, it's been rough out there. And I'm pretty easy to talk to, I'll, I'll ask all the questions. It's my job. So then with this top section, you're gonna come through and I split it in two. Give it a brush, come in, come in through the top, give it a flip. And this too, just with practice. Practice makes perfect. You're gonna do it wrong a thousand times before you're doing it right. And curling hair is an art. Up to, it's what you like, what you wanna see, how you like your hair, you know? I think we overthink it a little. Especially with all the like different style of curling now. I mean, I think that's fun when you have 45 minutes to spend on your hair, but on a day-to-day -day basis, you know, you have maybe 10 or 15 minutes, you know, or if you're going out, sometimes you don't have time. You can also flip it upside down like you just saw me do and just hold it. So my last piece. And then at the end, I'll show you what I like to do with my bang. Or I guess I don't really have a bang, but what I like to do with my front fringe. So I mean, this is pretty fast. I mean, I've curled six pieces of hair. Right, was it six? Something like that. Okay, so then I'll take one of these guys, clip my bang up out of my face, and then we'll come back to that. So then we're gonna do the exact same thing on this side. Okay, so now that we have this all curled, so the bangs, 
Like I said, we're gonna come back to that. So how I like to do my bangs, although they're laying pretty well, I like to use a blow dryer. So for this part, optional. You could just leave and go like this and you're done and good to go and there you go. Throw some hairspray in there and you're good. So I like to take my blow dry though and just give my bangs a little blowout, so. gave my bangs some great volume kind of pull these curls out a little and for the final touches I like to take my dry shampoo Death Valley and I just come through and through the root just kind of come through and spray and you can see from one side to another that I have already more volume on this side. This side is laying just like a little bit flatter to my head. So it does add great volume and without teasing or backcombing or anything like that. I like to hit the front. Then come through with my finishing spray. And I find for me too, I have pretty fine hair. If I put too heavy of a hairspray in, my hair just kind of flattens out. So I do recommend trying a more flexible spray and kind of building from there and seeing what your hair needs. This stuff's great. You can kind of spray and spray and spray and it still doesn't look, it doesn't get that matte finish. Last but not least, one, one squirtle of this will do ya. Take it through my hands, and I really work it into my hands, almost like my, the, heat, the heat, can you hear my hands squeaking? Let the heat heat it up, and then get it through the ends. It also helps your curls from kind of gathering. It kind of, you can see, it just broke them up. To the ends. And there you go. Super easy curled hair. I get asked all the time how I do it. That's how it's so easy. Trust me, anyone can do it with a little practice. You got this. All right, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe down below. Leave me comments. And I love you all. Be kind.